Hey, what's going on, everybody? Good Monday morning to all of you. My name is Dallas Pruitt, and welcome to the Daily Drip here on the Growthcast. So for some of you, uh, some things have just ended. Maybe for you, that was a job. Maybe that was a book that you just finished. Or maybe it was a, a stint in your hometown, you're moving to a new city, or just a new city in general. Maybe your last stint wasn't very long. Maybe you're done with school. Maybe you just got a degree. Maybe you're finishing a relationship for good or for worse. It's ran its course and you're moving forward. Look, whatever, whatever it is, the point today is that all of us, you specifically, you're dealing with change. Why does that make you feel so sad is a good question, right? It's because what you're feeling is is grief. Look, when you cease from activity or follow a, a, a thought to a conclusive end, right? It's a kind of death. And I want you to think about your life, your childhood, your youth, your old age, wherever you're at, right? Every transformation that you experience is a sort of dying or a kind of dying. This is something that we've experienced since having uh, a new child, Right? We're, we're a family of four now, four children, and the, the old version of Dallas and, and Haley, my wonderful wife, um, that had three kids and had it figured out, well, well, that old version of us died off, and we're trying to become this new version of us. And look, that's good because life is change, but that also means that life is death. That basically sums up a lot of what Stoicism teaches me through my studies in reading books like Stillness is the Key and Destiny is Discipline, right? Lots of things that we reference often here. We can't fear change or death. That is the truth, not just today, but every day. Was that so terrible is a question that Marcus Aurelius reflected on that reflected on when he experienced changes in his life right? And oftentimes the answer to that is no, it wasn't. Same thing in our own lives, right? No, it it wasn't that bad, nor have been the majority of the, the things. And by things, I mean changes that you've probably experienced in your own life. Eventually you accept them. You even at times embrace them. You understand that they were inevitable. You become grateful for them, for what came before, what is now. Look, you can do the same thing for this change, whatever it is for you right now, and that is today's invitation. Again, whatever change it is you are going through, look, embrace it. No one, not one single person has the power to keep things the same, just as not single, not one single person has the power to continue on forever. Look, we can only accept, and that is the truth. And is that so terrible? I believe the answer is no, it is not. In fact, it is beautiful. Change is beautiful. Change is inevitable. So again, today's invitation is to embrace this new version of you with whatever it is you're transitioning into. You might be like me, You might become a new version of a dad, of a father, of a family that has one extra human being in it now. Well, whatever that is that's dying off, embrace the new. Because, again, whatever's coming your way right now, it's happening for you and will create a new you if you allow it to. It eventually will regardless. And uh, you're just postponing the inevitable. So, again, embrace it, navigate it, learn and become a better version of you with whatever's coming your way right now. That is today's invite and today's reminder. Life is change, and change, change is good. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you guys again next time.